Today, the nationwide e-cigarette epidemic hit Mississippi where health officials reported its first vaping-related death. There's now at least 12 deaths and hundreds of breathing illnesses tied to vaping in the U.S. Local 24 News reporter Brad Roeders joins us in the studio now with this vital health warning. Brad? Katina, Mississippi health leaders said the person who died is under the age of 30, joining four other confirmed lung-related injuries in the Magnolia State. As this national vaping epidemic balloons, health leaders are scrambling to pinpoint the exact product linked to these e-cigarette illnesses. The state of Mississippi is now part of the growing e-cigarette epidemic as health leaders in the Magnolia State today announced its first vaping-related death, a person under the age of 30. We've known for decades cigarettes kill you. Today, we can say so does e-cigarettes, juuling and vaping, they can kill you as well. Dr. Dale Kreiner is ER medical director at St. Francis Bartlett. He said the first vaping-related death in a bordering state is just the latest wake-up call to parents. Talk to your kids about it. Sit down and talk to them about what it'll do to their body, and it can kill them. Symptoms of vaping illnesses include cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, and fatigue. But doctors haven't pinpointed the exact product linked to the growing sickness and death. Even the ones that you buy in traditional stores, the traditional ways with brand names have been implicated in this, not just the black market. There's not yet a cause, and that's even more terrifying. Meredith Berkman is co-founder of PAFE, or Parents Against Vaping E-Cigs, who weighed in today upon learning of this vaping death. It underscores the greater problem of the youth vaping epidemic because that epidemic is the most serious adolescent public health crisis that our country has faced in decades. Now, the Centers for Disease Control now reports more than 800 confirmed vaping illnesses in all but four U.S. states. Of the cases, the CDC knows all the specifics about two-thirds of the illnesses are those between the ages of 18 and 34. Reporting live in the studio, Brian Broder's Local 24 News.